So that salt just gives it a little bit of an extra kick to it. Um, and then our Mexican hot chocolate is really popular that has cayenne and cinnamon. We also have, you know, jasmine tea, mango saffron. It's constantly changing. It's like 31 flavors. Everybody has a favorite. I come up with lots of my ideas just on a whim. I even have a notebook next to my bed. So sometimes I'll dream up a flavor or different flavor combinations and I wake up from the middle of my dream and write it down in my book. Um, I'm constantly going and tasting a bunch of great ethnic restaurants around LA. We have a great food scene and I think people are starting to really recognize that LA is becoming a food destination and um, you know there are so many great places to go to and I'm, I'm constantly going and checking out and eating different things and tasting different ingredients that I've never tried before and thinking okay that would be great in my chocolate so for me um, it's always ever evolving and always changing up. I started at Comparte's about 10 years ago when I was only 15 years old, so I was definitely a lucky kid to get to grow up uh, making and watching chocolate, learning from master chocolatiers, and started to embrace it myself and develop my own recipes and techniques, and now pretty much everything um, in the shop is a reflection of me and my own recipes. So we kind of did away with the old school Comparte's and made way for the new age parties. I think people are really starting to appreciate the quality of artisanal goods. I think with the big Walmarts and Best Buys and Targets and you know, I mean hey you guys do your thing, I'll do my thing, but with the big companies people are starting to really go back and want to get a better quality product and something that is handmade, that is unique. 